Okay, everyone, so this is the first video in my little collective haul all combined in one. So pretty much what I'm going to do every time I haul and get maybe three or four things, I don't want to post a whole video about it, so I'm going to just compact it all into this video. Now, this is only going to be over probably like two weeks, whatever, it's nothing big. But sometimes I only get a few products and I really want to haul about them. But I don't want to post a three minute video or something. So I'm just going to put it all in one. So I got four things from Rite Aid. And the first thing I got, if you want to review or tutorial on any of these, just comment below. First thing I got is the NYC New York Color uh, Sunny Bronzer. And I just want to see what all the hype's about. It's just like a bronzer compact. You can see it. It doesn't have any shimmer, as far as I can see. Actually, I think it has a light shimmer, but I don't think it's really going to show up. So, yeah, this is $2.99. Then I got... My Walgreens stuff has Wet n Wild, but doesn't have this, which is weird to me. Wet n Wild 869 Defining Marker, and this is an eyeliner. And this was, I think, either $1.99 or $2.99. And I love these pen, like, eyeliners. Maybe I'll do, like, a good, the bad, the ugly of these because I have, like, three other ones besides this one. So, yeah, I, whenever I grab these, I do because I just really like them. Then I got two Maybelline quads. And I haven't got any new quads recently. I have three. And I love all three of them. So I got... Charcoal Smokes. They're just really pretty. Kind of, I would say, like, darker. Like, neutral colors, kind of. They're pretty neutral, I would say. But they're, like, darker. And they look nice. I mean, I don't know. They have another couple, one in this line. It's, like, Amethyst Smokes and other smokes or whatever I don't know and then I got designer chocolates which I really like because it's like they're both really light shimmered lid and outer corner and then the crease is just a really pretty like cranberry kind of color so yeah so that's my little haul I hope you guys like this idea and yeah I will talk to you guys later bye So from Victoria's Secret, I picked up these, they're like yoga pant legging kind of thing. The tag just looks like that. And they're really cute, like they change and I really like that. So they were $32.50 I think, and they just come tight at the bottom. And then from Sephora, I just got two things. I got, and these were both six stars each, I got... Rosebud South, and this is just like a multi-purpose, like for dry skin, for chapped lips, and all that stuff. And then I got the Sephora eye primer, and it just looks like that. Hey everyone, so I have some things from Target that I got. Don't mind these like marks on my tank top. It's pretty much because I dyed my sister's hair and it like spilled on my shirt and never came out. So yeah, I have my little Target bag. Now I wanted to try a new like face makeup remover that's not going to dry out my skin because all the ones I tried which are Neutrogena, Up and Up, um, Alme, I love the Almay eyes, but I do not like the Almay face at all. So I picked up this number 7 quick thinking 4-in-1 wipes for all skin types. Cleanse, tone, moisturize, and remove eye makeup. So that's just what it looks like. You get 30, I think. Yeah, you get 30 for $6.99, so that's a pretty good deal. And I like makeup wipes that have like this little thing and then it kind of seals the package instead of 
you have to open the package and it just gets messy sometimes. Next, I got my all-time favorite eyeliner that's so cheap, and it's the Milani Liquify Black Metallic Eyeliner Pencil. And it's $5, you guys. Like, if you can get your hands on this, wherever you can get it, get it, because it's awesome, and it stays on all day. They have nice colors. Um, I would say that... Like, CoverGirl has a liquify eyeliner pencil kind of line, but I would definitely go for this. CoverGirl is a little more expensive, but this is $5. You can get, I think they have silver, gold, um, black. They have a new brown one, and I've seen, like, a really bright blue. Next, I got this Aquifer Healing Ointment, and this was, like, I think $5 or something. Yeah, it was 5 and it's the advanced therapy for dry, cracked, and irritated skin. And it's pretty much just like Vaseline, kind of. And I just like it. It looks like that. And I just like it for my lips, mainly. And for when my skin's like really dry, I'll kind of just put this on it before bed. Next, I got another... Studio Tools Crease Brush, and this is a dollar ninety nine. You guys should really try to get your hands on this. I never tried any of the other ones, but the crease brush is awesome, and I think it's actually the cheapest one. I think the like shadow brush is maybe two ninety nine, but this, if I can get it out, is like a nice size. And it's really fluffy and it's really soft. So yeah, I mean a dollar ninety nine, you can always find good brushes for cheap. You really don't have to spend a lot of money. Then I got the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in Translucent. And I heard Pink Sugar, I think that's her username. I'll link her in the bottom bar. And if I don't, remind me, or I'll link her somewhere around here. Um, but she actually loves this. Like, she's obsessed with it. And it's oil-absorbing, non-comedogenic, and dermatologist-tested. So, I mean, it's this big thing, and it's $3. So I figured I might as well try it. Then the last thing I got is just this new Stride Gum. And I'm obsessed with Stride. And this is the new Stride Spark with B6 and B12 vitamins. So, yeah. um, That's it. I think I'm going to end my little collective haul here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed everything I got. And comment below if you want any kind of review or whatever or tutorial using any of the products that I mentioned. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.